stick around because later in this video I have a special giveaway announcement. Happy Friday everyone. Welcome to Free For All Friday. Absolutely crazy busy week that's been going on. Let's start it off here in the living room. So here is the fish tank right here or should I say what is left of the fish tank? I will start this off. Last week, I noticed one of my fish had a little bit of ick on it. So I went up to Petco, grabbed some medicine to put into the tank. And the medicine said, use 10 drops per one gallon. So this is a 20 gallon aquarium. That would have been roughly 200 drops minus the amount of rock and stuff in there. So that's about another two gallons that's displaced. Nonetheless, I did not want to put that much of this medication into my fish tank, even though it said all natural, everything like that. So what I did was I took a gallon of water out of the fish tank and then I added the medication to it, slowly added it back into the fish tank. It about, took about 45 minutes to like an hour and a half to get all the water back into the fish tank. Woke up the next morning, four fish were dead. Throughout the course of that morning, three more fish died four five six seven and then there was the last fish so the first fish that died was the one that was sick it was okay because that fish had been like six years old so i wasn't that bothered by it but i still was bothered that i lost the fish then every other fish that i recently got and this clip right here passed away finally there was one fish left the red garami and it just did not want to die i nicknamed this fish phoenix because it was laying in the corner for like three hours I thought it was dead I went to scoop it out it happened to swim around it was doing good for like another day and then it just progressively continued to stay in the back corner right there and then finally as gross as this is it looked like all of the scales melted off of its body and my entire life I've had an aquarium since I was about six or seven years old so about 20 years my entire 20 years in this hobby I have never had anything happen like that like I the only way I could describe it, it's like I almost poured bleach into the tank. Just that, the medicine that I used killed everything so quickly. It killed everything in the tank within like eight hours after dosing it, which was just bizarre. But like I said, I've never had a tank completely crash like that. So now, kind of up in the air. I don't know what I want to do here. I have a two more 10-gallon aquariums downstairs. I could always take all the stuff that I've been working on. For the past two months trying to make this a nice looking freshwater aquarium it looks like crap now because there's just like i said the the fish literally shed its skin like it was bizarre never had seen anything like that before so i'm thinking maybe take all the work all the, the logs the rock work the gravel the rocks everything the plants put them into a smaller 10 gallon aquarium and then turning this into another saltwater aquarium but i i just don't know so I'm kind of at the point I haven't had to feed the aquarium for a couple days now because there's no fish in there. So I don't know if, if you guys have ever experienced anything like that with fish, let me know in the comment section because I, like I said, 20, 20 something years of owning an aquarium and I've never seen anything happen like that. Anyways, though, moving on, I don't know why I started walking over that way this week on the channel. We had 250 subscribers. I am so amazed that 250 people hit the subscribe button. I can't even imagine talking to 250 people in a room, let alone 25 people in a room at once. So thank you guys very much. Thank you very, very much for subscribing to the channel. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Don't ever be afraid to just leave a comment. If you don't like something in a video, if something annoys you, just leave it in the comment section because it could annoy other people as well. So yeah, but moving on as a way to thank you guys, a way to show that I appreciate you watching, sticking here and everything. I figured it's time to put you down here to do another giveaway. I, uh oh, you're going to fall. I haven't done a giveaway in a little while. It's been, I think the last time I did a giveaway was towards the beginning of the summer. So right now, all you have to do for this giveaway is be subscribed to the channel. Leave a comment down below letting me know that you guys want to win. An Amazon gift card. I figured that is what we'll do for the giveaway for this one. I did a couple other ones in the past where I did like a Google Chrome, I did iTunes gift card, stuff like that. It just seems for everybody's sake that Amazon is a good place to get a gift card to. So yeah, if you want to win that, let me know by commenting down below. Be subscribed to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up button because it's without, because it, because it isn't, it isn't, because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing this, guys. Thank you very much. I, I really appreciate you guys sticking around, watching my video, watching my content. I do 
put a decent amount of work. Some of these videos I put a lot of effort into and moving on, there was at least one positive thing, one happy thing that happened this week and that was the Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta went live on Wednesday for people that pre-ordered the game before September 30th, I believe, and then for everybody else it goes live today. Unfortunately though, whenever I go to broadcast it, this happens. So, what I can understand, everybody online says to delete the Twitch app, delete the Twitch data, delete the connection or the connect, the connective, the, the pairing of your Xbox to Twitch, delete all that stuff, restart your Xbox, do a power cycle on your Xbox, start your Xbox again, re-download Twitch, reconnect it to your Twitch account, and then it should work. However, every time I've done that, I've Tried that all day yesterday, same thing happens over and over again. No matter what I do, I come up with this error code, same exact error code every time. 0x1033196. There's another suggestion of actually going in to, here let me show you. You, you, you go down to settings, settings, settings pops up, and then you, you go into network settings, and you actually go into advanced settings in here, and this has all my information, so I'm not good to show you that, but you go into this, and it says alternate MAC address. You're going to clear it. The Xbox is going to do a restart of itself, and then you should be all set. That did not work. Finally, the only other thing that I saw in here was to go into account, Go over to privacy and online safety. I don't know what's going to pop up here. You're going to go into Xbox Live privacy. I don't know. Go into custom. I just I don't I want I don't want to show you anything that you're not supposed to see. Okay, so you go into custom, view details and customize, and then you go into communication and multiplayer. I believe sharing outside of Xbox Live. Everybody, you have to make sure basically all of this stuff says to allow it. And this right here is probably a phone call for the train ride, so hold on one sec. So yeah, nonetheless, I have not been able to stream it. And then, to top it off, I made a bunch of clips here, going to game DVR. These were all from yesterday, the first day of the beta. I don't know why that happened. Game DVR. And you get these messages when you go to upload it. So I'm guessing the beta is either not in the system or they don't want people to broadcast the beta. So here I'll just show you this quick clip here. Some some quick combat. This game is absolutely amazing. But yeah, I am going to actually right now set you guys up on the tripod, play a quick round of this, and do some bootleg beta broadcasting well boot up bootleg beta streaming bootleg what what should we call this? We'll call this the Battlefront 2 bootleg footage recording session. Let's go. Yeah. 
everyone and that is going to do it for today's episode thank you very much for watching like i said before if you want to participate in the gift card giveaway let me know by commenting down below i will see everybody tomorrow for story saturday if you guys haven't checked out the beta i would definitely recommend picking it up this game is awesome i absolutely love it i think they did such an amazing job fixing everything that was missing from the first or not the first but the third battlefield battlefront 2015 i just keep getting Battlefield and Battlefront mixed up together, but we're talking about Star Wars here. Anyways, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Uh -huh.